This is now the fifth rover. And with each rover, there's been advancements in technology. Perseverance itself is outfitted with 23 cameras. It also has that sidekick helicopter. Um, it's more like a drone. And then there's a suite of instruments that comprise the payload. But this one has something very, very special, which is the capability to drill. And for the first time to actually bring back samples to Earth of the Martian soil, and to me, that's the most exciting point because this is a huge step forward in terms of the cosmic perception of where we are in the universe. This is when we can actually hopefully answer that question, are we alone? Is there actually life in a planet like Mars? The site that's being drilled into is very similar to sites on Earth that are beaming with life. This particular crater, its name is Jezero Crater. It's a 3.5 billion year old crater. And at that time, that crater was actually a lake that was about 30 miles or so across. So that's three Lake Windermere's. And it was actually a lake that was so full that it spilled over. So like a bathtub filling up, we know that there's an inflow and that there's an outflow. And that water carried clay minerals from surrounding areas into that crater lake. You've probably heard the phrase, diamonds are forever. Well, molecules are forever. So if those microbes were there, their chemical signatures, their molecules can be found in the lake bed or in the shoreline sediments. And the questions then are about, can we see evidence of this past life? How did that region form? All the right building blocks, the ingredients for life are there. That's water, energy, the source of sunlight is there as well. And then from the more recent rover, from Curiosity, we know that Mars had carbon-based compounds called organic molecules. And then the other thing that this allows is a step forward in terms of human exploration on Mars and at future missions that might bring humans along. The rover parachute down and successfully land and know that its little sidekick hovering in the Martian thin atmosphere, as amazing as those things are, this is just the opening of new doors of exciting research to take place in the next years and decades.